Hello, everybody. This is The Walrus bringing you another commentary. Today, we are going to play some BNG. I told you guys that I would not cast BNG, but I'm breaking my own rules for Komodo. He's an old friend. He wants me to cast this game, so I'm going to do it for him. Dave is the man. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of BNG, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. He's going up against Random 00, great all-arounder in his own right, currently the number one ranked overall singles player on TUS. That website is www.tus-wa.com. It's the best league, best site for worms overall. Check it out. There's a ton of content on there. And Random, right out of the pipe, fires a grenade right into Como's face as if to say, I'm here. I'm here, Dave. Come at me, bro. So Dave's really got to respond. He, and he's really been pushed out of position, so he's going to have to take a teleport of a blowtorch here at this point. Let's see what he does. He's going to teleport. Um, I'm not really sure what the, what the advantage is one way or another over the, from the teleport to the, the blowtorch. It seems to me to be the same thing. Either way, it really doesn't matter. It's minutia, but Random's got another crack at him here. Let's see if he can build up an early lead against Komito. I haven't looked at Komito's stats, but I believe in BNG. He's he's really he's won about 100 games maybe and uh, only lost maybe one or two. So he is just an unbelievable BNG player. I do not expect him to lose this game. But Random, he is two shots out of the pipe, and he is just smacking Komito around. And Komito has not even gotten a shot off, and he's basically a third of the way through Komito's health. So Komito's got to be reeling a little bit at this point, kind of wondering when, when he's going to get a crack at Random. So Random's going to have another shot here, and he look to keep on this pressure. Keep Komito on the run. Keep him out of his comfort zone. Because you let Komito have an inch, he will take a mile. He will pound your face relentlessly with grenades and zooks. And uh, so Random's going to go with a five-second low-grav grenade here. And, man, another on-target shot. So just like that, half of Komito's health is already gone. Three turns into the game. This has been really a surprising start to this match. I didn't expect this to happen. Komito, though, is going to get his first shot of the game. He's going to get a Zook. He's got a decent angle. This is a shot you would expect him to at least come close on, if not hit random. And that really was not all that close by Komito's standards. You watch enough replays of this guy, you play enough with Dave, you will realize that he puts... The Zook on the nose almost every single time. And so that is a misstep. And if Random could hit him here, Komito could be almost down and out here. So Random has a chance to keep the pressure up, keep up the intensity, and just fire right into his face. He's going to opt for a three-second non-low-gravity grenade, kind of a low angle, and misses. Um... I'm kind of surprised he didn't, he didn't keep up with the high angle, low gravity. It's, a, it's an easier angle to pipe it in there for. And Komito is going to fall back on what looks to be maybe the best hide on this map as far as both these sides go. Um, let me get the chat in here. And uh, it's just a small entryway. I mean, ideally you like to throw a Zook in there and kind of open it up. But, but otherwise you get to put a pretty accurate grenade straight into the pipe to get some damage here. So this is a very difficult shot. This is the most difficult shot Random's had so far. And he, he misses it. It's, like I said, I mean, there's a very small window of, of opportunity there to, to put it in and do damage. I mean, it's almost going to have to be a perfect shot. So Komito's really looking to get going here. He has not done anything the first four minutes of this game. And he really needs to to put at least some damage on Random, if not push him out of position. So this could be a five-second low graphic grenade. Just loft it up there. And Komito really, really unexpectedly misses by that much. That almost looked like one of my BNG shots. That's pretty normal for a guy like me. For, but for a guy like Dave, that is not standard operating procedure. And, he, and it, so he says in the comment section, I am in utter disbelief. So am I, Dave, casting this game, watching you play like this. I'm hoping you can step it up and finish this off, man. You are playing well below your ability. This is a four-second low grav, and the angle is not so great. I don't know why he doesn't opt for the five there. The, the low grav four is a lot tougher to hit. you got to take the lower angle, and it just it closes the window up. So I'm not really sure about the rationale on that shot. So Dave is really looking to bust the cherry here. And get this game going. He's going to opt for the five-second low-grab grenade, lofting it up there. He finally puts one on Random's face. 
And this this does double duty here because not only does he hit random, but also he puts random in a position where where the angle is just barely able to be done. He's only really got one option here, and that's the five second low grab. So. And he he actually, he didn't like the angle. He's going to teleport back to his identical hide to Komito. This is a mirror map. So he's going to teleport back to that hide, which is really a good idea. I mean, it, for my money, that is the best hide on this map. So a smart here by, smart play but here by Random. And uh, Dave left him another five-second low gravity up there. And that is just a monster shot. He puts it right on his face. And Random, he's completely shut down. He has no angle here. He could try and maybe put a Zook on Komito's hide, but more likely he's going to have to teleport here. We'll see what he opts for at this point. Looks like he might want a bazooka here. Okay. And that's going to be well short. I mean, there's not a lot of margin for error on that bazooka. It's not entirely difficult to put it in there and open up the hide, but a shot that he misses nonetheless. So Komito, all of a sudden, has he's, he's starting to heat up, folks. And he's going to opt for the four-second full power, lofting it in there at random. And that is a monster. He gets the bounce right, bounce back right into his face. Random's pushed back. He's got no shot at this point. He's going to have to teleport. Um... I, I don't, I, I, he's not going to take the shot, is he? I mean, there's barely any margin for error on this one. This is a very, very difficult shot. And he misses it entirely. Uh, and I'm not, and I'm not surprised at all. So Komito, after three straight bullets right to the face of random, is super hot at this point. He's going to opt for the bank. He is getting fancy, and this man has... He has the leeway to be fancy because he is the best. He's the greatest of all time. Let's see what he does here with this five-second low gravity. He's going to loft it way high up off of that wall and attempt it to pump it right into that hide for random. And if this comes home, I don't know, boys. Oh, and that's almost the Rainmaker almost knocks random off of the map. So this German is reeling at this point. He's got to move his hide. Komito is tuned in. He just he can't miss at this point. He, he's, he came into this game. He missed his first few shots. He missed a shot badly. And all of a sudden, he's playing the way that we expect him to play. He, I mean, he is just pound for pound the best in the world. So this is what we expect from him. So this bazooka, I mean, he could he could drop the Rainmaker right here. He's so hot. This could pop right onto his face and end this game right here. And he does some damage a little bit long. But... Random all of a sudden, after that great start, has got to be reeling a little bit because he finds himself in a situation where he's one shot away from getting eliminated after he was seemingly in control of this game. So he has a better angle here, though, and he's going to opt for a little something fancy. He's going to try for the bounce. He gets a good bounce, and that's just a little bit long, a very, very nice try to pump it right off of the top of that tree. The, uh, the level of competition here is obviously very high. To have the control to put it off a treetop on a bounce and Komito is looking at mirror as if to say hey anything you can do random I can do better so let's see what he does here he's bouncing it see if he gets the bounce here oh this looks really good this could be oh and he misses just by a few pixels really at this point so Komito and yeah and he says in the comments I thought I'd try and copy you yeah he thought he'd show him how to do it. Take take notes, random. Komito is teaching. So here we go. Four second non-low grav. And really, it's just a bounce back. So random, after that hot start, has failed to hit in a while. And if you're going to give Komito this kind of rope, you got to be prepared to get Nailed in the face with a grenade, really, at this point. So he's going to go with the low gravity bounce. This is a fancy shot, folks. Mostly found at B2B. Como being the founder of that community, of course. The number two community on Wormnet, only behind freedom of speech. The number one community on Wormnet. Sorry, folks. Sorry. May There's always next year, though, for B2B. There's always next year. They're fine in their own right. So... Random looking to do another five second here, and this one he does miss. It is a very hard shot. I was almost, I was almost surprised he even took that shot really at this point because 
of how difficult it is. So Komito is actually going to be looking to teleport. He's going to move back, not move back rather, but move forward just a few pixels. So he has that angle because he has been hitting just the edge of that treetop. It may not look, it may look to you guys like a nothing teleport, but really moving for those few pixels frees him out from under the overhang and allows him that better angle with which to hit random. So if random doesn't get something going here, I would expect this game to end probably in the next few minutes. I mean, uh, Komito is just too good to be given this kind of space to operate. And random with another shot misses by a good margin. That really wasn't even close at this point. So random, maybe a little bit rattled after that, that quick start, gets hit a few times, and now really is not putting those good shots he was doing earlier this game against Komito. This is lofted way high up there. Bouncer, five seconds, and that is right on random. Gets that bounce out. So random is essentially one shot. He is one shot away from being eliminated from this tough singles match. And so random, I mean... He's, he's got to do it here. It's it's do or die, really, at this point. I, I give him about, about a turn, maybe two turns at the most at this point, maybe three if Komito goes cold, but I, I don't expect him to last that much longer if he's going to miss like he's been missing. He's got to at least hit those bazooka shots to open up the hide, give him some other opportunities to hit Komito. And this, oh man, this could be the Rainmaker. It's the no-wind, low-grav Zook, and Komito is absolutely deadly on these. Random appears to be in the hangman's noose. Let's see if he has a stay of execution here. If he can stay in this game. And no, that is right on the face as you might expect. Komito, the king of low gravity with that Zook. And this game ends in dramatic fashion. Some really high level of play. This has been Walrus commentating this game. Thank you.